Class example 4.41. On the right is the graph of f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x squared plus 3x minus 4. Factor to analyze the equation of y is equal to f of x to determine each of the following. So let's factor this first. So we'll write this as f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x plus 4 times x minus 1. All right, so now that we're in factored form, we can easily see what our vertical asymptotes are. Our vertical asymptotes are going to be at x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 1. So let's write those in. So it's going to be at x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 1. Now the coordinates of the x and y intercepts? Well, the x intercepts is easy as, as well because it's going to relate to the numerator of my function. So what would make our numerator equal to zero? Well, if that was negative two. So I know that we're going to have an x-intercept at negative two comma zero. Now the y-intercept, there's gonna be a little bit more work here, but still not too bad. Um, we're just gonna throw in zero in place of x. Now you can do that in either version. We could throw in zero for our factored version and then solve. But I find it, it's actually even easier if we use our original version because you can see that all the x's would just get canceled or just disappear because x is equal to zero. So that would go and that and that. And we would really just end up with the constant terms in the end. So that would just be two over negative four or negative a half. So that wasn't too bad either. So I can see that we would have our y-intercept at neg or zero comma negative a half. Now our horizontal asymptote. Well, we can see from the graph that we have a higher degree in the denominator than in the numerator. So then we're going to have a horizontal asymptote at so horizontal asymptote at y is equal to zero. Now the domain and the range, well the domain will just be um, excluding our vertical asymptotes. So we'll just say x such that x cannot equal negative four or two. And the range so the range this time, you might think that we're going to exclude the horizontal asymptote of y is equal to zero, but the fact that it crosses our horizontal asymptote means that we do actually have a point at y is equal to zero. So in this case, we're just going to say y such that y is a member of the real numbers.